Hi. Yeah, I know. It's been weeks. I work a lot. Oh, yeah. Um. And also just... These are difficult to make. Um. And it's... It's hard to explain why I, I've been... It's like I feel embarrassed to be existing. Like... I feel like the fattest girl on that documentary, Thin. I, I don't want to name her or make her too specific just because, like, she's not, she's not, like, fat, fat, but, she you know, she's, like, the fattest one on Thin. And I don't know how to, <laughs> I don't know how to articulate what I'm saying. It, it's just. When I watch her, I cringe because it's like just everything she did and tried was so pointless because the weight never came off. And it just, it feels like, and I know it's, and I don't want to name her or point her out or like humiliate her or anything because I know everything, like she said that. You know, she did shit that was really fucking hard to do and deal with to lose the weight. And it just never fucking happened. Like, she never got to, like, she was never the thinnest one there, you know? She was never Eugene Yukuni's size. She was never, um, underweight or anything. You know what I mean? And I don't know, that just feels, it just, I don't know why that feels embarrassing. It just does. And it feels embarrassing because, like, that's, like, an embarrassing thing to want. But, um. And it also feels stupid because. I don't know how to say this because. Well, I appreciate you guys, and I appreciate everybody who says really amazing things in the comments and stuff. And I like that, you know, you guys have gotten me through some times. Like, it means a lot that my videos are liked, but then, like... And, and I hate to bring her up again, but, you know, people like educating Shani's videos and they're fucking stupid. Like, I'm just saying. And, you know, maybe that's, and, and then, of course, that's fine. You know, everybody can like what they want to like. It's it's fine that people like her videos. Like, uh, But I'm just saying, like, does that make my videos as stupid as Shani's? Do you understand my predicament? That's And I'm not saying that y'all are as bad as her audience or anything like that. Like, I'm pretty sure that they're, like, they're weird. But, I'm... Do you understand what I, what I'm, where I'm coming from? I don't know. I just feel like there's a lot of pressure on mentally ill YouTubers. It's like... In order to have a channel where you monetize on simply being mentally ill, you have to, like, compensate for what you're, you lack of being able to contribute to society. It's like you get a sense that in order to have a mentally, a, a channel that resol revolves around your mental illness, you have to, like, completely humiliate and degrade yourself, a la, um, Amberlynn Reed or Nick Akato or Eugenia, or you have to be, like, I'm saving the world and be a hero and, like, I'm, I'm exploiting all of my deepest traumas and all of my bullshit and popping my teeth out, but it's because I'm a hero or, or, you know, you have that sense and, you know, and you're still, like, 
dragging all your bullshit through the mud and you're still like putting stuff that you don't need future employers and shit to see. But, um, I don't know. I don't know what to make of all this. I don't, I don't know what I'm asking. I don't know what I'm saying. It's just, hmm. These are things that I ask and say to myself before I make all of my videos, I guess. I, I just, I don't want to do or be or exist or deal with anything. I don't, I just, I want to shrivel up and I want to disappear and I want to shrink and I want to be invisible and I want to be left alone and making videos just, that just doesn't fit into the reality of what I want. But then I want to make them. I am just a living, walking contradiction of everything, I guess. I don't know. Like, uh, I'll make them and I'll upload them and then I'll be like, Self, why did you do that? Why did you upload a video? Why did you make it? And uh, that was fucking stupid of you, and I can't resolve these questions. I'm just tired. Um, I forgot that I had makeup on. Yeah, I'll go and do a, an, like a six to eight hour bar shift, depending on... It's usually around eight or something with all the cleaning, I think. I don't know how many hours I usually work. I get there at 8 o'clock. I usually leave between 3 and 4. And um, it's a job with a lot of walking. So I imagine I burn a lot of calories. And uh, I take a lot of shifts, so I don't have to eat a lot. So that minimizes binging and purging. So hopefully I will be the next Anna Queen of YouTube, motherfuckers. I guess in other news, Eugenia Cooney has COVID. And when she dies, everybody is going to be like, Oh my God, can you believe how mean everybody was to her? I'm so glad I wasn't mean to her. I was a good person. No, man, that's going to drive me nuts. It's going to be just like Michael Jackson. Remember when everybody but me said that about him? I sure didn't. Oh, my God. It's going to be just like that. It's going to be just like that. Mark my words. <laughs>